Okay, committees. As we, we just saw, you know, a, a committee um, is the only means by which a motion, if it hasn't been uh, disposed with, can be held over for more than a quarter. And uh, committees are a good way to get a lot of work done um, if the body, you know, just can't come to a decision on something, needs more information. A uh, special committee ceases to exist when it makes its final report. Any vacancies occurring on a committee is filled by the appointing power. When the bylaws provide that the presider, or when the bylaws provide that the president shall appoint a special committee, this power does not transfer to the chair if someone else is presiding. A committee can appoint subcommittees which report to the committee. A standing committee is constituted to perform a continuing function that's done in the bylaws usually. The power to appoint a committee carries with it the power to appoint the chairman and to fill any vacancies that may arise in the committee. The person appointed first by the president is chairman of the committee. A committee report may contain how the committee undertook its work, facts obtained, findings, and recommendations for resolution. The quorum in a committee is a majority of its membership unless the assembly has prescribed a different quorum. Motions to limit or close debate are not allowed in committee meetings. That's interesting, huh? During actual deliberation of the committee, only committee members have the right to be present. So um, the committee could have public hearings and then hear testimony from individuals, and then they could go back and have deliberation without having uh, public access, or without allowing public access, unless, of course, your bylaws say otherwise. 